It's erotic, it's provocative, and it's political. But is it art? You can decide for yourself. But if you choose to enter making strange, you will enter artist Vivan Sundaram's new world, which is intoxicating, to say the least, because it shows you the innards of the world on the outside. You see dresses as coffee cups, as tampons, as sanitary napkins. But most of all, you're constantly asking yourself, why are we where we are? And that perhaps is the point of Vivan Sundaram's art from the beginning of time. But this is possibly his most tactile, in-your-face version of the world. Why trash? You've had this uh, tryst, this love affair with trash for a while now. You made a city out of trash three years ago and now there's a whole lot of live uh, blow up dolls and mannequins made out of trash. Well, you know, I, I am a kind of split personality. There's something in me that's hugely attracted to chaos and entropy. And, and trash is, after all, all which is uh, not organized in any way. So it provides, you know, for the artist a kind of <clears throat> dialectical counterpoint to what we then otherwise want, order, rationality, perspective, all that. Well, again, the <clears throat> relationship between trash and, and fragility mm. and my interest in the urban, uh, where so much of urban life, particularly of those that live in so-called illegal uh, shelters, squ uh, squatters, which then can be uh, bulldozed, so that this aspect of their fragile existence, their fragile habitation. So it's this fragility that actually informs much of this show. The things that are fragile, you can make monumental, you know. There is a lot of erotica and, 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 and it's very political at the same time. The two are the same thing, isn't it? Yeah. Provocation and erot eroticism are the same thing mm. for you. Um, is, is it very different? It's so different, in fact, from the Vivan that came to India and the, the Vivan that, that uh, worked with Sehmat and made um, paintings. Can you tell us, as you're, going, as you're taking us through these, a little bit about that journey, about why, you, why and how you transformed? Yeah, well, I think that there is, obviously, every person has histories and I came out of a political moment, you know, world political movement from the student revolution of May 68. Between the personal and the political, the social, I dealt with the historical also. I feel that for me and even otherwise, it's not, it's important to bring down those compartments. If you're political, it doesn't mean that you can't be personal. This whole thing of representing, and of course artists have many more agendas in, in what they do. So whether it is humor or eroticism or a play or a comment on the object itself and it turns it inside out, I think that's what this whole project is about. Uh, sir, you've certainly also um, taken away from what um, uh, the art world seems to it seems in India to have got stuck in sometimes, which is this sort of boring, arty farty needing to needing to belong and subscribe to one kind of thing. You kind of bring uh, many holes through that. You've been sort of like a anarchist in your own right in this. I think that the anarchist impulse, you know, obviously. Uh, I mean, I have some Marxist uh, orientations and that uh, comes a lot in the sense of uh, thinking through things dialectically of uh, always somewhere there is, you know, some kind of meaning production which can be at many levels. Many of the garments here are connected to the body, you know, so whether it is underwear or ties or bras. So already it's being worn, it's, it's part of it and then how uh, in its uh, kind of, uh, you know, new avatar. So, I mean, hair has a long history of sexuality, yeah. of eroticism. Yeah. And then I wanted to make a very slightly uh, ungainly body for it, you know. Uh, it's disproportioned, it's lumpy, uh, and yet the way that, you know, it's possible to very get it braided, yeah, time. braided, if you see on the other side, it looks like some very exquisite fabric, you know. What that one? Well, again, you know, the use what of... What is that? Come on. You're a woman. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. Those are, yes. Those tampons. tampons. Yeah. Uh, an American artist in the Venice Biennale made a huge uh, chandelier of, of white tampons. You know, so I thought, well, I'll remember her. And But of course, this has got another sort of more... Uh, kind of primitive energy yeah. to it, you know, yeah. and the yeah. red and the blood and yeah. all that. And yeah. so it's got a kind of whole architecture. 
that so many of the garments are to do with uh, orthopedic, prosthesis, yeah. all that. So I think it's partly to do with, I have a problem, I'm wearing a, 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 a knee operation, my wife has a hip problem, so that's why she has to be, so you know. So, uh, and this, this uh, one, this one which is definitely out of a hospital. This, which one? This one, this dress. What do you mean hospital? Go low, look at it. <laughs> you got it wrong. You what don't. You don't know much then. What is it? What is it? It's it's called jockey. Oh strap. yeah, those jockey. Yeah, those jockey vests and. and jockey vest. Yeah, no, it's a it's a jockey. What jockey outfit? Uh, suspender. It's. Ah. Very for, cool. For keeping athletes and their penises in place. <laughs> So it's very, it's very uh, provocative that. Yeah. Yeah. And what's going to happen to the babies once the exhibition is over? Don't ask me. <laughs> Are they going to be trashed? No, no, no. I, I mean, I, I tend to trash my works. So I have to care for them a little more. I, I think that they will circulate in exhibition. The three beautiful big images there uh, are uh, in a big traveling show of Indian art in, in Brazil. Would you like to see this art in a, in a place where it shouldn't be? Not in Lalit Kala, but say in the middle of a mall or in a very middle class establishment. So it actually shakes up the kind of people that yeah. are looking to provoke. No, are you? One, one defense of this place and why I wanted to do it here was that it's never been done in an art gallery. So I think artists are always pushing the institutions. So you're you know? kind of doing an up yours so, to the conventional art so, gallery yeah, so, as well. And, and that even that, that the fashion people come to an art gallery. So I think that that uh, kind of opening it out, you know, into cro crossing over. And of course, I mean, if somebody says, can we have six of these and walk down City Walk? I mean, yeah, I'm all, all for it. Thanks a lot. Lovely. And here's to lots more trash. Thank you. No, and it's transformation. Yes. T and T. <laughs>